Well, yesterday, I had a great day metal detecting. I didn't do an intro. I just went right in there and started metal detecting. And I found this one particular item, and I was flabbergasted from it. So, I forgot to do an intro, so I'm doing one right now. Sorry for the lighting. It's getting ready to rain up in here in the mountains. Um, calling for 80% chance of rain today. That's the reason I'm not in the woods. Um, I'm going to work on this piece that I found. Well, yesterday, uh, I stopped by an old home site that I had found in the wintertime, and I found quite a few Civil War relics, mostly uh, Confederate. Well, yesterday, I went in there, and um, I'm going to shoot out a tip to you real quick that I found out yesterday. I found this home site in October of last year, and... It was nice, wide open, and I went in there, and I found a whole lot of Civil War relics in there. But uh, I stopped by there yesterday, and it was super thick with bushes over top of my head and stuff, you know. And I said, oh, man, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this or not. Well, I went in there, and I took my time, and I found out that when you go in there when it's brushy and stuff, it kind of slows you down some. And that's what happened to me yesterday. Um... When you go in and you start swinging in the wintertime, you know, you're doing full swings, you know. But when you go in in the summertime, when it's real brushy and thick, it shortens your swing. And I found a lot of stuff in there yesterday. Some nice relics. And uh, But I'm going to showcase this one particular relic in this video and then the next one will be out Tuesday about two to three o'clock in the afternoon of the rest of the stuff I found now onto the piece that I found this piece here is a very rare find uh, the reason I call it rare is because I've only say, seen bits and pieces that people's found of this particular item and I've never seen a whole one and you know maybe somebody has it somewhere in the millions of videos but I've checked thousands upon thousands of videos and I haven't seen it yet. I found a U.S. issued cavalry horse bridle bit. The whole complete thing without the bossing on the side that has U.S. stamps on it. And the two rings and the part that goes through the mouth. But the whole frame of the bit is complete. And it is an awesome, awesome, awesome piece. Super excited to put it through electrolysis to see how it's going to work out. That'll be another video as well. So I'm going to start stop jammering, and I'm going to let you go watch the video. All right, guys. I thought this signal here was going to be another chain. Uh, it was hitting uh, 44, 45 and stuff like that chain was. And I got something here sticking out of the ground right here. And I figured we'd pull it up and see what it is together because I don't have a clue what this is. So... Yeah, baby, look at that. Horse bit. Oh, wow, that's a nice find. It's where the straps go down in it. Ooh, I like that piece. Yes, sir. I like that. All right, guys, I'm going to get off of here and head on to the next here. Uh, I'm going to take a couple pictures of that, and that's a cool find. Be back out in a little bit. All right, guys, just a fast look at this piece before you leave, before I put this through electrolysis. Right here would be the bossing that has the U.S. on it. And as you can tell, the two holes are right there where the rivets went through. So I'm going to have to go back and look for these bossings. Like I said, I got one of them, but I don't know how and how I'm going to attach them. But, but a super nice piece. On YouTube, I've seen where they find just one of these, like just the half of them, where... Uh, plows have ripped through them and cavalry camps and stuff that's why I like doing home sites
that's where you're going to find most of your Civil War stuff anymore, is in old home sites. Super excited getting ready to put this thing through electrolysis for a couple days, see how it turns out. Like I said, I'll do a video on it, let you see how it does. I think it's going to turn out really nice. This is where the straps would go through to hold the bit that goes in the mouth. Yeah. Man, that's an awesome piece. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell icon so you'll know when my next videos are coming out. Quick reminder, the rest of the video uh, of this home site will be Tuesday. I'll try to do it at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Alright guys, I'm going to get off of here. Hope you have a great weekend. Um, and I hope you find something really nice. See you Tuesday.